Hopper is easily the most engaging activity provided in the Spike Prime set for beginners. Hopper is cute, quick and easy to build, and just plain fun. Although I have to admit, 15 hoppers slamming around the class all at once can get a bit annoying. I teach the students to program Hopper using two stacks. I like to tell them the robots are stupid machines that do exactly what they are told to do. And if the kids don't identify what ports the motors are plugged into or how fast they want it to go, the robot won't know how to move. The other habit I like to get them into is setting up a stack and stack for their movement commands so they can control when the robot moves rather than having it take off as soon as the button is pressed. This time I have them go into events and use a when left button is pressed event. And then I have them start by just bringing in a move forward for 10 rotations command. After they've got the hopper moving, I ask them to experiment with turns and adjust the speeds to see their effects on hopper. After they've played with them a little bit, I ask them to improve the hopper and make it better, which is right out of the Spike Prime lesson. Some of the kids come up with some really great ideas. I don't have any video of it, but one kid was trying to put a saddle on hopper to have the minifig sit on hopper as it crashed around. They kept falling off like they were riding a bucking bull, and it was actually hilarious to watch. I have even had kids add a color sensor and then create the same program they use for the insect, and it works brilliantly on Hopper as well. Hopper is the perfect follow-up to the walking insect, and by the time the kids are finished with Hopper, they are dying to use the wheels, which is in their third build.